We are heading toward an El Nino winter, and I want to show you what that means. And first, let's take a look at how our drought monitor is doing. Uh, up in the Cascade foothills, especially the central and northern Cascade foothills, and up in the Cascade themselves, we are in an extreme drought right now. Haven't played catch up the way we need to. Unfortunately, as we work our way toward an El Nino winter, this new winter outlook just came out, we are looking warmer than average up here in the Pacific Northwest. West. That could mean less snowpack down at the lower elevations in the Cascades because temperatures are potentially just too warm. So the entire state of Washington warmer than normal because of this El Nino winter we have coming up. Also, the Cascades and east of the Cascades are likely going to be drier than normal. And usually during an El Nino winter, we're drier than normal here in western Washington as well. What about snow down here in the lowlands? Well, some snow is likely during an El Nino winter, but a lot of snow is not necessarily likely. In fact, over the past 10 El Nino winters, we've only had one where we had a significant amount of snow. Remember that? Back in 2018 to 2019, we had almost two feet of snow. But if you look back on all the other El Ninos uh, in, uh, going back to 1994, it's just been a few inches here and there. Some years, we've had nothing at all. So it doesn't mean no snow, but it does mean we likely won't see a lot of snow.